like the shoes, whenever I stop, I take the boots off and I put these on. They're like uh, they're like quilted down boots. They're not down. They're, they're from uh, as everything with me. They're from eBay. Um, I, they're they're um, extremely light. They pack up really small. They're very soft. They've got a rubber sole on them. I don't know if they're waterproof, but I've never got wet feet. But they're just unbelievably comfy. And uh, if it's really cold, you can sleep in them as well. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I've got several different cook sets and I like to change them around depending on mood or um, if I'm doing a hike up a mountain, I'll take the lightweight kit. If I'm not going very far, I'll take some, uh, I'll take some different kit. And the one that I've brought today is a Trangia. This is the Trangia 27, which is the smaller version and uh, it's the hard anodized one there are, there are several different variants of this so you would need to look on the transio website uh, to decide which one uh, you would like it doesn't come with this orange bag uh, i bought that separately uh, it's not expensive but it's just handy to keep everything together plus it can get dirty uh, and, it, and the soot and whatever off the methylated spirits that's burning can actually get dirt all over your kit so it's handy to have the bag but you will need to buy it. Okay, so that's the cook set. Uh, it's fairly compact, it's not tiny, depending on the size of your pack, and I wouldn't call it lightweight. I mean, that's got the fuel in there, that's quite full. Um, they can rattle up around a bit, but if you pad it out correctly, you can keep the noise down to a minimum. Got several parts. First, you've got this belt loop that goes round with a quick release buckle on the top. You just pull that out. And then on the top here, you've got a frying pan. You notice it's hard uh, anodized, so it's a slightly different colour than the rest of it there. Now mine has got this plastic lid come sieve choppy board. That's an additional extra as well. Okay, so that doesn't come with it. You need to buy that one. It's handy as a chopping board. Handy as a lid and it also acts as a sieve, so if you were making pasta or something like that where you wanted to drain the water, say boiling vegetables, so that's an additional extra. Inside then, we've got a handle, a gripper handle. I've got a sponge, that's to reduce the rattle uh, and also to clean it. It's one of those non-abrasive sponges. You can get them from uh, most supermarkets, they're not expensive and I've just cut it in half. Inside, you've got these clips that flip up, and then this variant, because not all of them have it, has got the little kettle, tiny little kettle. How cool is that? Inside then, you've got two pots. They fit inside each other, although they're very similar in size. Again, both hard anodized, uh, and I put a little bit of tissue paper there, again, to help with, uh, help with the rattling, because I can't stand rattling. Okay, one of them has got marks on the uh, on the inside there. They're probably measuring marks. I'm not sure the depth there, but yeah, two two saucepans. Then you've got the stand. Okay, this is where the burner goes, and these are air vents. All right, Trangia recommend that this open side here faces into the wind to allow the uh, the air to circulate better there. Obviously, if it's blowing a gale, you might want to turn it away. It also has got a hole here. Uh, this is for an attachment where you can fit like a gas, um, a gas burner instead of the methylated spirits burner, and it fits in through there and pops through the top. So that's the stand. And then this bit here is the windbreaker and the pot stand. Okay, so it acts as a windbreaker and then if you want to put the kettle on it you put these loops down and then the kettle fits inside also the pots will fit in there and then if you're using the frying pan or the larger lid you just pop these open and put the frying pan on top inside the kettle open the lid comes with this yellow plastic bag which the burners in and I recommend you to keep that all right because you're gonna have methylated spirits in here and you don't want the the inside of your kettle and flavoring anything with methylated spirits unless of course you're an alcoholic and then uh, crack on 
So this is the burner. This is the heaviest part of it, really. Uh, pretty sure it's made of brass. On the top, you've got what's called the simmer ring, or the snuffer, and it opens up. It's used to adjust the flame, which I'll show you later, or when it's closed, it actually snuffs the burner out. You noticed on the inside there, there is no rubber seal. And then they've got the actual burner. Comes with a screw cap lid. Be careful because this is actually full of uh, maths. And inside there, you'll notice there's a rubber, uh, a rubber seal, like an O-ring. All right. Now that becomes important because it'll seal the methylated spirit. So I've carried this full of methylated spirits. I haven't brought a bottle with me because there's about 30 to 40 minutes burn time, depending on. Um, how fast you're burning on whether you're using the simmer room ring uh, but that rubber ring inside there has sealed it. it hasn't spilled any of it out okay but it's important that you don't snuff it out with that because if this is hot it can burn the rubber on there <coughs> it's pretty basic as, as such but it's pretty much bulletproof. There's not a lot can go wrong. There's no moving parts or electric bits or anything like that. Uh, it's a solid piece of equipment. Uh, it's been around for a long time. I mean, I've had a Trangia. I've got a Trangia 25, which you take on camping trips and days out in the beach and all that, which is the larger version. Um, but this is ideal. I, I would say that this one is used for proper cooking. Um, a lot of the cookers that you see or you see people taking are basically gas burners or variants of a gas burner uh, which are great for boiling water and boiling the bag type stuff but if you want to cook a proper meal uh, then you need to be looking at something like this or perhaps a gas burner with a frying pan and this that and the other but this kit here contains pretty much everything you would need to cook a proper meal you can cook most things on this that you can cook at home to be honest with you So those are all the parts to the Trangia 27 or this variant of it uh, and like I said it's the hard anodized so the saucepans and the lid uh, you'll notice slightly different colour. Um, I've not, Some people do ask whether, whether it's non-stick. Uh, it's not non-stick but I'd say it's, it's less sticky than the aluminium one. I've got an aluminium one in the 25 version and that's like super glue if you're frying something and you don't get the temperature right. Uh, this isn't as sticky as that, so if you're careful with the heat and you use, you know, a bit of oil, uh, it's okay. They're easy to clean, and apparently they're a little bit tougher with that coating on there. <coughs> okay, to cook a meal then. First thing we do is we lay the base down, make sure it's on a, a flat surface, because obviously you're going to be using uh, methylated spirits, uh, which is very watery and it's going to swish around. So if it's on a flat surface there's less chance of you spilling it. So you lay that down. Uh, there's a little bit of a breeze here at the moment coming from this side. So I'll put these vents facing that way. Next up, we get the burner, take the lid off and slot it in. As I said, I've already filled this up so it's uh, it's about quarter of an inch uh, from the top there because um, that's plenty enough for, I'm only staying out for one night so that's plenty enough for me but at this point you would um, put some methylated spirits in it now I have seen people uh, messing about and flapping about at this point um, putting the windbreak on and then trying to light it with the hand with a lighter or, or a match but be careful because you can't really see the flame when methylated spirit is burning and you burn your hands and you'll end up with uh, with the, the smell of burning hairs off your fingers or whatever so there's no need to put this on at this point unless of course it's really windy um, so I'm going to light it uh, at this place here and a little a little tip um, I mean obviously I'm in a wood here so there's plenty of bits of wood around but if you're not using matches you just grab a bit of a bit of stick there uh, put it in the methylated spirits and then get your lighter and then light the stick and then put the stick into the methylated spirits now you can't see it 
so you, you do have to put your hand over the top it's not going to be really hot to start with that's lit now what happens with the burner is as it heats up it gasifies and then it's what's called blooms um, you might not see it um, but what happens is there's little holes around the side of the ring there and then the flames will suddenly go from being in the centre to coming out the flames really, really powerful. Depending on the ambient temperature, it depends how long it takes to bloom, but it'll take a couple of minutes to bloom. But uh, as soon as it's lit, you can put the windbreak on. Try as best you can to avoid putting your hands in there. You don't want to burn yourself. There's no rush. If things are hot, use the gripper. That's what it's there for. Okay, so I'm going to be making uh, a meal on this tonight and the meal I'm going to make is I'm going to make steak. Uh, and the reason I'm making steak is because I watch quite, quite a lot of these YouTube videos uh, and one of my favourite ones is uh, a young lad called Hayes Outdoors. Um, and although I'm a bit late, it's about six, seven months ago, uh, he started off a, a challenge to do with men's mental health and it was called Show Us Your Steak. So I'm going to do a Show Us Your Steak on the Transia 27 and then I'll talk about some mental health uh, a bit later but I'll ultimately show you how to use this. So this is warming up a bit now so I'm going to get the frying pan on. Notice that I've opened the clips out to the widest setting. I'll put the frying pan on there and I'm going to use some of this spray oil. I, you can see I haven't gone lightweight uh, this is sunflower spray oil, you can use fry light, whatever, um, or you can use a small bottle of oil. You use plenty of oil, you're not, on the, you're not on the slimming world diet out here, so don't worry about sins, you need the extra calories, but more importantly it'll help it stop sticking. Now I'm going to cook a steak, a piece of steak, uh, it's a ribeye steak, so there's a bit more fat on it. I'm going to cook some mushrooms, these are button mushrooms, I'm not Gordon Ramsay guys, don't worry, and I'm going to cook some asparagus, um, and this is uh, my wife and I's one of our favourite meals, we call it we call it date night when we have this uh, as, a, as a treat, alright, so the steak doesn't take long, uh, but the mushrooms will take a while, because there's a lot of water content in them, so I'll put them on first, and I'll let this heat up, if you tend to put things, uh, even at home actually, if you put things uh, into a, a relatively cold frying pan, whatever, they'll stand more chance of burning and sticking to it. So I'm going to let this heat up, uh, and once it's up to temperature and I see the, the, the oil moving around freely, I'll put the mushrooms in. Now, I love garlic mushrooms, so I've brought some garlic puree with me in a, in a paste. Uh, I've also brought some uh, mustard as well for the steak uh, and I've just realized I forgot salt and pepper I was gonna stop on the way in uh, on the way down here in a service station or something and uh, borrow some little salt and pepper sachets but I've uh, I forgot so uh, the steak and mustard will have to do that's warming up already so I'll put the but mushrooms, now they, they all, mushrooms are always massive when they go in, but as soon as they cut down, they're, um, they go a lot smaller. So I'm going to put these in first. I'm not using the simmering at the moment, uh, and I might not use it at all, depending on how we get on. It's pretty nippy, I mean I've got the temperature gauge, I'm not sure whether you can see it. It's, uh, it's about nine and a half degrees at the moment. Um, but there's a little bit of a breeze, so there'll, there'll be a little bit of a wind chill, but obviously it's not that cold. So we'll leave these mushrooms heat up, and then uh, I'll come back to you in a bit. Mushrooms seem to get to a certain point where they, uh, they'll draw everything in, fat-wise and then dump it all out with a load of water and that's when they reduce in size. You've got to get the temperature quite high though with mushrooms. Uh, if you have it low they just sort of mush and steam and go all, uh, all stewy.
So I'm going to put them into the saucepan. And put this back on. And then you can use the lid if you're not cooking, just to keep keep them warm. Probably should have trimmed them off slightly. But never mind. Okay, time for the steak. The steak doesn't take long. Make sure the pan is hot. Apparently the trick to steak is not to touch it if it sticks, so you just leave it on for a couple of minutes. These uh, TV chefs do the old uh, finger rule, so if you want it, I think it, if I remember rightly, if it's rare, it's, it's the first finger. If you press it like that, it feels like that, and that's rare. And then the middle finger is medium rare, if you feel there, you feel that. It's the same, that's medium rare, and if it's on your little finger, which is quite tough, then it's well done. Hayes Outdoors um, started this off, it's a campaign called Show Us Your Space. Uh, thought it was a great idea to do with men's mental health. Um, apparently for uh, under 45 year olds or 25 to 45 year olds, it's the biggest killer currently in the UK. And that's quite sad really that the biggest killer of young men up to middle age is that they actually take their own life, they kill themselves um, because of mental health issues. Most of the videos I've watched will say if you've got a problem talk to somebody but I don't think it matters what I say, you're either going to talk to somebody or not. I'd be interested to know whether it's got anything to do with the fact that loads of pubs are closing and men used to go to the pub and have a few drinks and offload. But there's nothing we can do about that now. What I would say as a, as a piece of advice, you're always going to have problem, problems, that's life, is uh, if you're watching this video, then you're probably doing something to help your mental health already. So it's actually not you that this video is aimed at. It's, it's your mates or it's people you know to ask you if possible just to keep an eye out on your mates or people you know and just occasionally or once in a blue moon just go up to them and say quietly are you okay mate and try and encourage them to come out and do something like this you don't have to go wild camping and spend the night out um just go into the woods 
or go on to a beach. Um, just cook a meal outside. Get yourself out of the house. Move around. Um, there's a saying going on at the moment called uh, JOMO, J-O-M-O, -O, and it's, it's, uh, it's a mnemonic for the joy of missing out, and it's to do with social media. I'm not a big fan of social media. I sort of have to use it with my job, because it's a useful tool for spreading information, and I get it. Um, but it can consume your life if you're not careful, and you will, you will have an inaccurate projection of people's lives. Um, because they'll put all the happy bits. Yeah, I like there's some lads who put, and some ladies who put unhappy bits. Uh, but you'll generally get a false view on people's lives. And uh, it's not good for your mental health. Now, I see that comes straight off. So the joy of missing out. In other words, leave social media alone if you can. I mean, we've got 24-hour news, we've got Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, WhatsApp. You're just bombarded with information and notifications and all that. The place I've come to today is in a valley in the middle of the Breton Beacons, and there is no phone signal. Um, I generally go not far off the grid. Um, I tell my wife exactly where I'm going, but it's just to get away from it, just so that nobody here now can contact me. My wife knows where I am, and I, I tell her that if I don't call by a certain time in the morning, uh, you know, there might be a problem. But just get away from it all. Put your phones down. Put your laptops, your iPads, you know, everything down. And just have a break. Go out into the woods for an hour. You'd be surprised how much time you spend or waste your life on social media looking at what everybody else is doing rather than doing something yourself I and mean, you guys who watch this video and girls you know this is not male only encourage people to come out and do the same thing say so put your phone down or put it on mute for an hour come out and just cock something or go down the beach just do something different because if you don't do something different nothing will change and uh, I love Hay Hayes Outdoors videos, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Um, and Hayes, if you ever watch this, please give me a thumbs up. It would be like meeting a celebrity. And I actually have met Steven Seagal. Uh, he's a great guy, but I met fat Steven Seagal, not skinny Steven Seagal. Uh, and he wasn't in a frame photo, so thank you for doing this, mate. Uh, and thank you for everybody that's watching this. But uh, if you're not going to talk to somebody, then what you can do if you want to make a difference in mental health or men's mental health you just ask your mates are you okay And top chefs will tell you to let that rest five minutes. That's in a restaurant, not out in the Breck and Beacon. Okay, so now we're going to snuff it out. So again, use the clip, take it off, don't panic. If you've used this, make sure it's cold. Close it up completely. And then pop it on from the side and you don't burn your hands and there we go steaming hot <laughs>